in this video, I'll be showing you how you can port your Raspberry Pi 5 with an NVMe SSD. There are two things you need primarily for this tutorial. Your Raspberry Pi 5 should already be running Raspbian OS on a micro SD card and you'll need an HAT or a special case or some peripheral device through which you can connect the NVMe SSD to your Raspberry Pi 5. I am using this awesome case called Pyenman 5 from SunFounder that has built-in RGB fans, cooling system and it allows me to use NVMe SSD with this NVMe PIP built in in this case. Connect the SSD to your Raspberry Pi 5 device and turn it on. You have to make sure that your system recognizes this SSD. Use the LSPLK command and as you can see, although it recognizes the SSD, there is no file system, no partition on that SSD because it's a fresh new SSD. So what you have to do here is create new partition here. And for that, I recommend my trusted Gported Duo. So install it with the apt install command and then you start this. You'll need admin access for this. And from this, this corner here, choose the NVMe or SSD, whatever it is called, and you can create new partition from here. If it does not allow creating from here, you can also create partition from here. All right. So, stores, okay. And then I'll just create a single part, primary partition, and I can create it in an ext4. I think everything is fine. All right. So, I have a new partition in an ext4, and let's see if it works this time. Oops, sorry, I have to save it. Alright, so it is doing its job and let's wait for the operation to complete and then we move to the next step which is to copy the content of the SD card on the SSD. Once you have the partition ready on the SSD, go to Accessories and click on the SD card copy. This is official tool from Raspberry Pi 5 and this is actually very finicky tool for some reason buggy wait for some time play around and it should give you the option to actually create partition on it if you manage to do this you'll just do the start it is on the content of this are you sure yes I'm sure and then will start the operation. There's still one important step to do, which is to make sure that your Raspberry Pi 5 boots from the SSD and not from the SD card. And for that, we are going to use the built-in Raspberry Pi configuration tool. The copying actually takes quite some time, so have patience. It might take like three to five minutes or even more. Have patience for that. Once the copy completes, the next step is to change the boot settings. Open a terminal and run this command to open the recipe file config manager. All right. So here you have to go into the advanced options and you have to change the boot order. So as you can see, the SD card boot is on the first, and VME on the second, and network boot is on the third. So what you have to do is now when you enter on the D2 option, it says NVMe is the default boot device now. Okay, you go on to finish. Would you like to reboot now? Yes. All right. So as you can see now, there is 
root fs and root fs which are coming from the sd card this is my guess so what i can do is let's just check it first all right so you can see nvme01 has a port sector port partition with fact 32 and a root partition with the xt4 with plenty of space to come all right but just to ensure what i'll be doing is right i'll turn it off to make it double sure that i'm booting from ssd not from the sd card i'll just take out the sd card all right so now you're booting your raspberry pi from an ssd not only that it is the exact same operating system with all the applications installed and the same configuration that was on your sd card nothing has changed except from the fact that now it is being used from the ssd that's awesome isn't it i hope you find this tutorial helpful and if, if you find any issues with the procedure do let me know in the comments and i'll try to help you out peace out